Governor Samuel Latom of Benue State has come out to say that the lingering clashes of headsmen and farmers is no longer tolerable and call for urgent solutions. Otom make these charge while addressing newsmen at the Benue State Governor's Lodge in Abuja. He said that the federal government has not been doing well enough to tackle the meanings of headsmen invasion into people's farmland. He therefore urged that the ranching system should be adopted to solve the lingering issue of herdsmen and farmers clashing in the country. He further stressed that the primary function of any reasonable price government is to provide security of lives and property. Of animal husbandry is through ranching. Because today we talk about so many heads of cattle in Nigeria, but we do not care about the statistics. But from records available to me, the total heads of cattle in Nigeria that are creating so much tension and divisions, and even uh, bringing drums of war in our country, Nigeria, are uh, just above 20 million heads of cattle. But on record, we have over 300 million heads of cattle in India, in Brazil, over 250 million heads of cattle, in America, over 100 million. Even in South Africa, the number of cattle they have is more than what we have there, and like countries like Kenya and so on. But why they have lived peacefully with farmers is because they ranch. And so we came out with a policy I would not just stop at uh, policy level. We went ahead, legislated, and enacted a law prohibiting open grazing. And uh, we were called names. And uh, we were castigated. And all manner of people who did not have the love of this country, who did not care about the unity of our country, who did not care about our fellow human beings living in Nigeria who were being killed, my aunt, our women were raped, our children were also raped and killed, our old men, nobody was spared. And so as a government that has the responsibility of providing security for lives and property, we came out with that legislation. And by the grace of God, Pessimists and skeptics today, they have accepted that truly what we started in 2016 have become a model for the entire country. I commend my colleagues, the Northern Governors Forum, particularly the chairman of Northern Governors Forum, for accepting that ranching remains the only solution to bring peace for our people in our country, Nigeria. I appreciate my colleagues from the South who are also in agreement that ranching remains the best method. And like I said, there is no other way we cannot run away from this fact because statistics also show that in the 50s, when there was a policy on open grazing and provision for uh, grazing areas and cattle routes and all that. What was the total population of Nigeria? Less than 40 million. Today, Nigeria is over 60 million, over 200 million. And by that alone, if you want to be truthful to yourself, the land have not increased. We have not annexed any other country to join to Nigeria to have excess land to be able to take care of the people, over 200 million people, and also to take care of the cattle doing open grazing all over the place because of human activities. There are more schools than what we saw in the 50s today. There are more markets. There are more settlements. There are more farming activities going on. And so no land for open grazing. So when we said we had to enact a law, we meant 
good business for farmers and good business for herdsmen, that they can live in peace and work together. He therefore expresses gladness in the view that those who were initially opposed to the ranching system when he first made the agitation are now getting to approved it. He therefore urged the federal government to respond in earnest to the bill as urgent steps need to be taken on the issue of insecurity. If not, the country's peaceful coexistence is greatly under threat. From the Benue State Governor's Lodge in Abuja, Shamsuddin Abdurazai Girado, iMedia News.